A drunk driver who killed two teenagers was just sentenced. Yeah, that horrific crash happened in Alaska, but the parents of one of the girls now live in Logandale, which is near Mesquite. They talked to Fox Five's Joe Viel about the sentence. Well, this is one of the teens who died. Now, I covered the story extensively when I was working in Anchorage, Alaska back in 2013. It was just devastating to so many people there. 15-year-old Brooke McFeeder, seen here, was killed in that crash, along with her friend Jordan Durr. The friends were walking home from a back-to-school shopping trip at the mall when a drunk driver hit them on a sidewalk. Now, these photos include Brooke and her parents, Gary and Shanna. Now, the case has played out so long in court because the drunk driver appealed a 32-year sentence, which he didn't agree with, even though it was part of a plea deal. Judge Kevin Saxby resentenced him on Thursday to serve 30 years in prison. Brooke's parents in Logandale say this is their message to people here in Southern Nevada. Don't drink and drive. We don't want anybody else to be affected. I mean, this is, we're going on almost 10 years. You know, just Saxby went over it, how the technology has changed since he was a kid till now. But talked about seat belts. He talked about everything, your mirrors and everything. But ultimately, it still comes down to the person behind the wheel. The attorney for drunk driver Stacy Graham argued for a lighter sentence, saying he's been making good on his promise to be an advocate against drunk driving. Now, to honor Brooke and to help people in need, the McFeeders have set up Brooke's Good Deeds. That includes a food pantry they run in Logandale, which includes mental health counseling on site. Now back to